Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. So in this video, we are gonna be creating a shimmer wall. And I'm super excited because I see these shimmer walls all over the place. Every time I go on Instagram, I see someone decorating with these backdrops. So for this video, I have partnered with House of Party. They were nice enough to send me a couple of boxes of panels. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to walk you through how I create my shimmer wall backdrop. And then I'm also going to give you tips based on my experience. All right. So let's get started. So here's a box of panels. I'm just gonna lift it up so you could see it. Okay, this is the box that it comes in, right? There's no damage or anything like that to the box. So now I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, so the box comes with some zip ties. I'm gonna take them out so you could see them. All right, so it comes with these zip ties. And then it also comes with some hooks here. All right, and then it comes with some extra shimmer panels and um, it looks like there's some nails. Here's the nails that you connect these shimmer panels with. My shimmer wall is black, so let me show you. Oh, and then it also comes with some instructions, all right? So here's the shimmer wall panels, right? Mines are black. So you just want to make sure that you have the shimmer wall panels in the right direction. So you want to make sure that none of this plastic. So this is the back. I'm going to zoom in. So the back is a plastic panel, right? You want to make sure that none of that plastic is showing. So let me show you. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. So you see how, hopefully you could see, because this is a clear panel. So along the top here, you could still see some of this plastic panel. So that means that it's going the wrong way. And then, as you can see with this one, you could still see the plastic up at the top. So that means that this panel is in the wrong direction. You just want to tilt it until you can't see it anymore. Okay, so these little shimmer wall things, <laughs> these little shimmery things right here, these little squares, these black squares, they should cover the whole panel, the whole plastic panel that's in the back, okay? So this is correct because you don't see, I'm going to, hopefully you guys can see this, you don't see any of the plastic panel in the background so let me back up the first thing that you want to do when you're opening your box is you want to make sure that you inspect all of these panels right and just make sure they each have you know all of these little squares on them make sure there's no damage mm -hmm. I just finished going through all of my panels. They look good. I'm not missing any pieces. Whenever I have a new backdrop, I like to go through everything to make sure that I have everything that I need to create the backdrop because I don't like to start creating it and start building it and then realize that I'm missing something, all right? So all of these panels are good to go. I'm gonna start connecting them now to create my shimmer wall. Now, the instructions say that you want to do this on the ground. So you connect all of the shimmer wall panels with zip ties. I'm just going to use the zip ties that came in the box, all right? 
So you want to connect them and then when you're ready to attach them to the backdrop stand, it says that you need two people. So I'll be sure to call my son up here to help me to attach the shimmer wall to the backdrop stand. Now I've divided my panels into two. In the box, you get 24 panels. So I've divided it into 12 panels each and I'm gonna build two small shimmer walls at first and then I'll connect them later, okay? Because I don't wanna build one big shimmer wall. I wanna break it down into pieces. I think the wall will be easier that way, all right? All right, so let me just explain to you what I'm doing here. I'm taking each panel and then I shake it just a little bit and then I place it face down on the ground. And I'm trying to be super careful with these panels because this is my first time creating a shimmer wall and I certainly don't wanna break it right on my first time. So I'm just taking each panel and I'm just gonna arrange them on the ground in the way that I want them to go. But you just wanna make sure that your panel is going in the correct direction, right? So I'm really checking each panel before I lay it down to make sure that each panel is going in, this, in the right direction and none of that plastic panel, right? Remember what I was saying before? You don't want any of the plastic panel to show. Now what I'm gonna do, using the zip ties that were in the box, I'm gonna start connecting these panels and creating my shimmer wall, okay? Now, I will tell you that this part is very tedious. It may take you some time and you may have to develop, you know, some sort of technique for you to get, you know, all these zip ties connected. So play some music. <laughs> What I did was, you know, I put some music on and then that helped me to pass the time, all right? So this part is very tedious. Have some patience. Make sure when you're adding your zip ties that you're actually connecting two panels. I don't know why. I guess I was doing it too fast, but there were times where I, were, I was putting the zip ties in the wrong place, right? So you just want to make sure you're paying attention to where you're putting the zip ties and connect the panels. So here's where I'm at so far. I just finished putting up one box of the shimmer wall panels, okay? I connected all the panels and then I attached it to my backdrop stand. 
So if you purchase one box of panels, this is the size of backdrop that you'll have, all right? But I have another box that I'm about to connect and then attach to this. Before I do that, I just want to show you. Last night, me and my son, we actually spray painted the back of these panels. So I took one box outside and I spray painted the back of the panels black. And now what I want to do is I want to compare it. I want to see what the shimmer wall looks like as is with the clear panels. And then I want to see what it looks like with the black panels. With my backdrops, I normally have a cover on the back of them. And that helps to keep the sun right from shining directly through the backdrop. So you could take some really nice pictures. And with these clear panels, I wasn't sure if there was gonna be too much sunlight coming through the backdrop. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the panels that were spray painted black, and then I'm gonna hang it up, and we can see how it looks together. Before I hang this up, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So this is the back of the shimmer wall panel. And it actually, when it's spray painted black, it makes it easier to see the zip ties and where to place them. All right, so I just wanted to show you this. You wanna make sure that you have extra zip ties. In the box, they give you plenty of zip ties, but you also wanna make sure that you have extra, okay? Just in case you need them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna attach it to my backdrop stand. So I just finished hanging the other box of panels, the ones that I spray painted black and look at the difference. Oh my gosh. It's literally night and day. You could see through this side, right? But this side you can't see through at all. I didn't even bother connecting the whole backdrop because I'm about to take this side down and I'm going to spray paint these panels black as well okay so i'm gonna do that now and then tomorrow i'll come back and then we'll decorate this with some balloons and i even have a neon sign that i want to add to this backdrop mm -hmm. 